one through six. One is a bunch of skins. Level 100. 100 is a Havoc skin? Why would they have a Havoc skin for 100? You guys want to see it? It's fake? No, it's on the official Play Apex website. Look. Like, 1 through 6. 714. Season 1 kills for Octane. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Bloodhound. Lifeline. I don't know why that is, but that's cool. You know, nothing really cool so far. Like, some shitty skins, I guess. XP. Whatever. Whatever. I guess this is a character unlock. I guess this is a character unlock. Fuck, I might just buy my... Oh, no. It's a legend skin. Okay. Okay. Who cares about this? Like, Prowler. Literally, no one cares about this. No one really cares about this. I mean, maybe that's cool, but it's got the big view model, so no one's going to use it. I don't know what the fuck this is. Or what that is. No one cares about this. And there's a fucking Havoc skin! Who plays Havoc? Guaranteed legendary? Oh, I mean... Yeah, I don't really care about that either. This skin is sick? Oh, this skin looks fucking cool. This skin does look really cool. But, like, no one's gonna use it. How much? 950 coins. What have there been in there that you rather care about? You know, cool skins for, like, R99... R301, Wingman, Spitfire, Kraber, Peacekeeper, EVA8, the, the characters, like character skins that could be cool, I guess. Like some nice new skins for Wraith or Lifeline or Gibraltar. Like, I don't know, this is a Wingman skin, but it doesn't really look cool, you know? This doesn't really like, no player is really going to use this because the view model is too big compared to the other skins. No one's going to really use this because the iron sights aren't the same as the other skins. Because the R99 has like a uh, pay to win skin, just like the wingman, basically. I don't really, did you say, did you guys see R301 anywhere? I guess this is Kraber. Maybe, maybe it has some really cool effect or something. I guess that we can't see. I don't, I don't think I saw an R301 anywhere. Mozambique, fuck you. That's cool though. I like these, the season one kill st trackers. I like that for sure. I like that for sure. That's nice. I don't know. I guess these are just like coins and these are just XP for leveling. I want to, I don't know how cool the intros are. At least, yeah, at least, I mean, I just care about having something to play for. But like this skin shouldn't have been a Prowler skin. This could have been like R99, R301, Peacekeeper, EVA8, Wingman. Like no one plays the Prowler. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. Mastiff. Maybe it has some really cool animated effects. Trackers are dumb. I mean, they are, but like this is, this is kind of cool at least. It's not like total kills. It's just like a season race. So you have something to race for, you know? But like there are no legend skins. I really, really wish there were legend skins. Like really, really wish there were legend skins. But yeah, I, I, it would be cool. Like I'm, I'm not gonna buy, you can buy two, you can buy two of them. You can buy the 950 battle pass. Unleash you and your beast, show it off. With the season one battle pass, play more to level up and unlock exclusive rewards. Or the bundle, which gets you the battle pass. You unlock 25 levels for season one instantly, which would be like, uh, up to here, I guess. Well, up to there. But I'm probably not gonna get the 25 one. Because I'm gonna reach the end, obviously. Because I played every day like fucking no-lifer. R3199? Yeah, but like... Maybe it's really cool. Maybe it is really cool. Maybe the animated effects are really cool or something. I just like don't like the color. It looks like vomit to me. There's skins on the bundle. I know. I know there's skins on the bundle. I wish they had like unlocked for skins. That's what I mean. What would you play a level up more? I mean, maybe you just don't have the time to play. And like... You might work a lot, and then the difference in money is like, oh, I want these skins, you know, I want to get to the end, but I don't have the time to actually play, right? Which makes sense, but I'm going to buy this one just so I have more to play for, obviously. An intro, you can't, like, look at the intros. You can just see what's in it. Oh, this is really cool. So you can level to, like, 50, right? And then you buy the battle pass. You'll unlock every ward up to 50. So you can play it before you buy it. So you don't have to, like, oh, that's, that's actually really cool. That's really cool. You can earn the Frontier Legend skin, 5 Apex Packs, and 18 Wild Frontier Stat Trackers for free. Everyone earns free rewards for Season 1. Okay, so you can't get... So when the season's over, you can't unlock anything more. Okay. How long is the season? Yeah, they showed the Roma. It's until June. Season 2 starts in June. Maybe the skins just look really underwhelming on the pictures, but they really don't look cool. 
But they might look a lot cooler in game because of like animated effects and stuff that they didn't display on the website. I missed three shots on a down player. Don't tell anyone though, because that's embarrassing. I hate when that happens and it like reopens your inventory, you know? Oh fuck, I'm dead. Did go though? <laughs> I want to let him rage in that because that's scary. Can you res? Oh my god, he like dodged my shots, not even knowing she was dodging my shots. He like running in a weird direction. And then she would like ADID AD very, very slightly. Oh no, our boy. I got you, Joe Master725. Well, now I feel like it's in my eyes. God. People who like don't move are really hard to hit sometimes. Like he's just walking so slow. Not even attempting to dodge any of the shots. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. I just expect strafing and then strafing doesn't happen and my brain just like shuts off. Wow, thank you. Yeah, like that actually just ran at me. I don't think so, unless they change a lot of stuff in the game. Like if they, you know, rework Brig, rework Sombra, rework Doomfist, change Baptist, uh, change Diva, change Roadhog a little bit, change matchmaking, rework matchmaking, add solo queue. Maybe, maybe then. But it's just like, I don't know. I'm still like, my passion for Overwatch is still there. I don't know how to explain it. It's like that part of Overwatch is just inaccessible. The Overwatch I love, the FPS game, you can't play it anymore. Because it's a MOBA game now. It's really hard. I don't know how to explain it. I have 10 kills. 10 kills? Two digits? Yeah. Two! I just found a glitch on Wraith. It's in insane infinity portal. It's insane. Yeah, so if you want to know how to do that consistently, you can check my top five tips and tricks video on Wraith. And it shows step, step by step. I think it's old. Step by step on how to reproduce it if you really want to do it. How many people in this chat do I hate? Just anyone with my sub icon next to their name. Ninja sub are a bunch of weeb nerds. Damn it. Imagine giving money to watch a, a super stupid but really cute Swedish streamer who does nothing but play video games all day, every day. Imagine putting money to that. Can you imagine that? But they're so cute. Everyone in my chat's so cute. Ah, yeah, yeah. I like one guy actually said, What the fuck? All caps. Because he thinks I'm serious. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs>